We leave you tonight with an exclusive look inside one of the most famous houses in the world. The stately mansion known to most of us as Downton Abbey is actually Highclear Castle. And 150 years ago, it was the scene of a little-known real-life drama that led to the birth of our nation. CTV's Daniel Hamamjan takes us down that long, familiar lane and right into history. To millions around the world, Highclere Castle will always be known by its stage name. But long before this glorious building starred in Downton Abbey, it played a much bigger role in the making of a country called Canada. It's a little known piece of history that accidentally emerged from this scene. You do know I mean to involve you in the running of the estate. Oh, don't worry, there are plenty of hours in the day. And of course I'll have the weekend. What, what is a weekend? When Maggie Smith asked what a weekend was... Weekend house parties began at Highclere. <laughs> it prompted the actual lady of the house, Lady Carnarvon, to look up who exactly had spent a weekend here. When I got to the visitor's book to research the weekend, I picked one with lots of lovely people here. So then suddenly you get a man, a signature here, John MacDonald. December 1866, John A. MacDonald was a lawyer and politician from Kingston, Ontario. His host was Lord Carnarvon, the minister in charge of British colonies. Lord Carnarvon didn't wish to see Canada submerged into the US. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Lady Carnarvon has done her homework and is convinced. Much of Canada's constitution was discussed, debated and even drafted here in the company of other men who would later be called the Fathers of Confederation. Mercifully, nor do the Irish authorities. If the library looks familiar, not much has changed. This is where it would have happened. This is where it happened. Yeah. It yeah. happened where we're sitting yeah. here. <laughs> MacDonald would ultimately spend many nights here and naturally, a lot of time in the dining room. And to think that all those men were sitting around this table discussing, eating. You know. There was drinking, of course. In fact, too much for MacDonald. Carnarvon had to order his butler to go easy on the refills. Well, for me, the, the show's amazing. It's giving us a marketing platform. But something like this matters enormously to me, to think that all these extraordinary men were here, pioneers so brave, trying to create a constitution, trying to create a new country. MacDonald would become Canada's first prime minister and along the way, a friend to Carnarvon, the man many historians view today as Canada's godfather. Danielle Hamamjan, CTV News, Highclere Castle.